A petition is a great way to spur your supporters into action and encourage them to invite other people to join your cause. In this video, we'll cover how to create a petition page, add content, define your goals, and more. Create a petition. To create a petition, go to Website, select your website, and click Add New Page. If you don't see petition pages as an option when adding a new page to your website, you'll need to enable the petition feature. Go to Settings, Nation Defaults, Basics, check the box next to Enable Petitions, and save your settings. Give a name to your petition. The slug will auto-populate based on the name, but you can change it if you like. Select Petition as the page type. Decide whether to include it in Top Nav or Supporter Nav. Click the Create Page button. You'll be taken to Petition Settings, Content. Add Content and Media. Next, go to Petition Settings, Content. Here you can edit the headline for the petition and enter the intro text and petition text. You'll want to keep the petition itself as concise as possible. Include an explanation of the circumstances surrounding the petition. Even if the issue is all over the media, assume visitors haven't heard about it. If you have a powerful video or news clip that illustrates the need to sign the petition, consider embedding it in the intro blurb. Be very clear on what signing the petition means. A time-bound or time-sensitive petition often gains more traction than an evergreen issue framed without urgency. As with other content areas that will be displayed on your website, you can include an image by clicking the Insert or Edit Image button. To add video, you'll just add the URL on its own separate line within the content editor. We suggest adding these things to the intro area. Once you've completed this section, click the Save Intro Text button to save what you've written. Define your goals. Go to Petition Settings, Basics. First, you'll decide what to call a signature. While we recommend signature or endorsement, you can get creative here. When someone signs the petition on your website, they'll click a button that says Add Signature, where Signature will be replaced by the word you place in this text box. Next, you can define a signature goal. If you place a numeric goal in this field, a progress bar will be placed on the page. Note that you can also use goals to track petition signatures in your nation. Goals will track the total number of people who have signed any petition in your nation. If you have collected additional signatures on this petition offline or on another site, you can enter the number of additional signatures to add to the total in the next field. Please note that these offline signatures will not be counted in your petition signatures goal, but will be counted in the progress thermometer on your petition page. In order to sign your petition, people will need to provide their first name, last name, and email address at minimum. If they are signed into your site using Facebook or Twitter, they can sign the petition without providing additional information. You can also choose to ask for additional items when people sign the petition. You can ask for a photo, phone number, and address, and you can make these things required. We recommend limiting the amount of information a person is required to provide in order to sign your petition. You can decide what page they land on next. If a page is not listed in this box, a person signing the petition will remain on the petition page after submitting their signature. We also highly recommend that you attach tags to people who sign your petition in the Tag the Signer With field. Multiple tags should be separated by commas. You can assign people who sign the petition to a point person. If a person signing the petition already has a point person, that designation will not be changed by the selection made here. You can also automatically add all people who signed the petition to a path by clicking the box next to Add to Path. Click the Save Settings button. Choose whether to follow up with petition backers. Review and edit the list of people who have already signed your petition under Petition Settings, Signatures. You can also enter new signatures here. This is a great way to input signatures gathered offline. In order to add a signature to the petition, you must at least enter the person's first name, last name, email address, or phone number. If you click Petition Settings, Print PDF, a PDF of your petition signatures will be generated and downloaded to your computer. If you click Petition Settings, Download CSV, a CSV file of your petition signatures will be generated and downloaded to your computer. If you need to add your backers to a list, go to Petition Settings, Signatures. Above all of the signatures, you can click on the Actions menu to add the backers to a list. Once you select to add them all to a list, you can choose the list from the drop-down menu or create a new list in order to add all of your backers. If you click the name of a list with a check mark next to it, you can remove all the backers from an existing list within the drop-down menu. If you want to make edits to a specific backer, find the name within your list of signatures at the bottom of the page. Once you find the signature you want to edit, you can do the following. Select the arrow to add the specific person to a list from the drop-down menu or add the backer to a newly created list. If your backer is currently on a list, you will see a check mark next to a list name. If you want to remove the backer from that list, click on the list and the check mark will be removed. Hover over and click Edit 
to edit the backer information. When selected, all fields at the top of the page will auto-populate for you to review and make changes. Select the name of the backer and you'll be redirected to the person's profile. Customize the auto-response email. To customize messaging to your petition backers, go to Petition Settings, Auto Response. By default, an email will automatically be sent to each signer. You can change this setting by unchecking the box next to Automatically Send Signer an Email. We strongly recommend using the auto response function to thank people for signing the petition and to encourage them to spread the word on Facebook and Twitter. You may want to include your suggested tweet and Facebook post here to provide them with suggested text for their post. You can change the broadcaster who sends these automatic messages. The primary broadcaster for your website is set here by default. You can edit the subject line and the body of the email. If you've made any changes to the autoresponse, click on the Save Autoresponse Email button to save them. You'll definitely want to check out Petition Settings, Text Keywords. There you can define the keyword a mobile phone user needs to text one of your broadcasters in order to sign the petition. Custom Social Sharing Messages it's extremely important to encourage signers to share your petition via social media. You can customize these settings under Settings, Social Media. By default, people will be prompted to tweet the petition. It can be extremely helpful to edit the default tweet to include an urgent reason to sign the petition. As with other default tweets, a link to the page will be included at the end automatically. You can also choose a thumbnail image for Facebook here, and that can also be useful. Ideally, there is at least one image on your petition page. Including a thumbnail here ensures that the petition image is picked up rather than other images associated with your website. Great job! You're ready to start collecting signatures.